Howdy folks and welcome to another great fun episode of Plumbing with Tim. Here we're at a local Baptist church. We got the call to come out here that they have a water main break somewhere underneath the sidewalk and they had to shut the water off to the property. This is going to be a real pain. Let's go. As you can see there's water everywhere and my partner's up here and he's running a pump to try to suck the water out of the hole so we can dig. require us to do is to take a concrete saw and cut about a four foot section out of there then break it all up with a jackhammer find out where those water lines broke and make the repair Okay, so we're waiting on the large jackhammer so we can open up the rest of that concrete. I don't know exactly if that's right where the leak is. You guys know how it is. Water comes out one place, the leak somewhere else. But we gotta start somewhere. And it's already in the afternoon, so I'm ready to make it happen. primer it just came apart blew apart at the fitting see that all this mess for that nasty little mess okay let's review schedule 40 pvc with a coupling if you can see in there see a little ring mark that it's made in there that's as far as that pipe got glued in there and look what it was glued into thin wall irrigation pipe look at that stuff i was trying to cut it and it cracked yeah but we don't have the time in the day to be making any kind of big major uh replacement of wire lines because they're all up underneath the concrete and stuff like that we're gonna have to make the repair and just hope it holds for today okay so while we're up on the north end of the county waiting on uh our guy to run us some fittings to so make this repair i know i'm gonna hear in the comments and you guys are gonna be really yelling at me i do not want to have to make a repair on that old gray piping i don't really have a choice right now it's getting late in the day and that piping has been down there and it's held together for over 30 years so i'm gonna have to make the repair anyway about it whether i like it or not using that same pipe in florida it's a big giant sandbar and when we're digging and trying to find a pipe that's leaking one of the things we're looking for is the sugar sand see how everything else is all dirty and stuff when we saw this stuff we knew that that's where the washout was and that was where, where the leak was very close when we started seeing that we knew we were close to finding a leak
They all saw that fitting I used for the repair, didn't you? That was a one inch Schedule 40 PVC telescopic coupling. That way we don't have to do the 490s up and down and around, especially when it's gonna be underneath concrete. We want a nice flat surface. We're giving that thing about 35, 45 minutes to dry. I'm gonna cut the water back on, backfill, and we're hauling ass out of here. All right, time of truth. I'm out here by the road. And we're getting ready to turn the meter on. We're gonna see how well of a job we did. There she goes. See that dial just a spinning. All right, so let's head back over to that hole, make sure we got no leaks, and I can get my helpers to backfill caution tape that thing off and get out of here and everything looks good no leaks good. all that water sitting down in the hole is groundwater good not go at all hey that's a wrap today thanks so much for hanging out with us and watching us break up concrete and fix a water main break at a local church and stuff don't forget to subscribe and leave a question down below until next time it's been plumbing with tim keep plumbing